What is up, YouTube? Blitz, it's Puddles A1 here, and I'm bringing you another narrated Wi Fi battle. Now, today, guys, I have a monotype battle versus Cool T. His link will be in the description. He does upload great battles, uh, great narrations, and I've been subscribed to him for a while, and I have not been let down yet. So, um, without further ado, let's get into these teams. He's brought water, and I have brought fighting. Now, his water attacks will be boosted because he did bring the polytope with Drizzle, and that leads for a uh, scared me because I don't have anything to deal with his Pokemon except for my Breloom. So, if he takes that out, I'm going to be in trouble. So, here we go. He leads off with his Polytoad because I don't have weather, and he does. And I lead off with my Cabalion because that has rocks, and I want to get my rocks up. So, um, I know that most... Politoes nowadays are defensive because they are also on a team with a Thunderous or Tornadus Therian form. And so that's that was my mindset with this battle. But as you'll see here, he goes for the Hydro Pump, automatically telling me he's offensive, um, either with Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. And judging by the damage, uh, he is Choice Specs. So I lost my Cabalion here, but I now know that his Politoed is in fact Choice Specs, so that's something that I need to keep in the front of my mind because this thing's a danger to my team now. I go into my D'Artagnan, my Keldeo here, and I'm going to set up the call on my because I know he's going to switch out. And he goes into Jellicent here. And now I see why people run Hidden Power Ghost on their Keldeo because of Jellicent in general. And I I have Hidden Power Ice on mine, which is a mistake. And I need to fix it immediately. I'm going to switch out because I can't do anything. And I'm predicting the um, Will-O-Wisp. So I go into my Infernape. Turns out that this bulky water type is also offensive. So um, he's going to smack me in the body with um, a Water Spout. And that's going to be game over Infernape. Um, I re that was because I don't, I don't even know what to say now. I'm kind of dumbfounded because I don't see offensive Jellicent's or offensive Politoads ever anymore. Um, I'm gonna go over the spore. I was kind of predicting him to switch out, but he stays in and lets his Jellicent be Sleep Fodder, which I find to be a bad choice. Um, because now I get to set up plus two easily and then start to destroy his team. Now he's gonna go into his Marsh Stomp here. I'm like I said, I'm gonna uh, set up a Swords Dance, get plus two. And then I am a tech loom, so I do have the bullet seed. It is times for a super effective stab from a breloom after plus two and technician boosted. It's easily going to take out this marsh tomp in one hit, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, well, not funny, but awesome, because I took out a Pokemon with one hit with bullet seed, and I always thought that bullet seed was a bad move, but I guess with technician, it's pretty awesome. So he's going to go into his Kingler here. Kingler's going to outspeed and hit me with a crab hammer. Um, it is in the rain, so this is why it does so much. It is resisted because I am grass, but I don't know. I was kind of upset that it did so much, but then I remembered that um, Kingler does have really good attack. Um, even if it is, what, NU or RU, it does have really good attack. I think it's RU. But whatever, I'm going to take it out with a bullet seed, and I'm going to have enough HP to live one more Life Orb recoil. He's going to go into his Azumarill here, and all Azumarills go for the Aqua Jet. So I'm going to go for the, the Mach Punch and take myself out with Life Orb and uh, end up doing a really sizable chunk to this Azumarill. That's like 75 to 80 percent and I'm okay with that. He's gonna go for the Aqua Jet like I said and um, it's gonna fail because I'm not there anymore. I'm gonna go into ladies, my Gallade, and my Gallade is um, the special defensive bulk upset and I, so that means I know that I can take a choice banded Aqua Jet even if it is in the rain because I do have that max HP and I do take it and I go for the Drain Punch get all my HP back which is pretty cool. I do have the Shadow Sneak on this guy um, so I could have went for that, but I didn't think I would be able to take it out. And um, the only reason why I mentioned I have Shadow Sneak is because, like I said, his Jellicent's a problem for me. And I could have let my uh, Gallade live and then try and Shadow Sneak the Jellicent to death. Or try and set up and then Shadow Sneak. But I didn't want to have anything else on my team take a Hydro Pump. I mean, I probably should have switched out to my uh, Mean Shao because it's not going to do anything. But I didn't, so whatever. I'm going to go back into my Keldeo because now I have a plan. I know that he's going to switch out and go into his Jellicent, telling me that um, I can get two free Calm Minds up because there's the initial switch into Jellicent, and then there's going to be the guaranteed first turn of sleep. So that's all. That's already plus two for me. And then um, he's, like I said, going to stay asleep here. And then I actually get a little greedy, and I go for the plus three. But... Um, it's really not being greedy because all I have to hit this thing is Hidden Power Ice. And that's not going to do anything um, even after plus 3 because it is resisted. And Jellicent has great HP and decent bulk um, without even having investment. So as you're going to see here, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. And it's going to only do 25% 
if that after plus three. So I'm going after a four hit KO here, and I'm really worried because if he wakes up and has like hidden power electric or something that could do a lot of damage to me, I'm in trouble. And he wakes up here and um, actually goes for the shadow ball. So I'm I'm glad that he didn't have another move that would have done more. But I'm kind of scared because he could roll a crit and it will take me out. So I'm going to go for the hidden power again. Kind of hoping that I'd roll max damage like last time. But I'd probably get somewhere in the middle because I don't take it out. And he's going to live on like negative zero of a third of a fourth of half of what the actual health should have been. And um, I know from here I have three more life orb recoils. And then after this hidden power I'll only have two. And right now it's, since I took out his jealousy, it's 2v2. Um, I killed Yo and Mean Xiao against his Polyrath and his Politoed. And, um, you know, I didn't even realize it, but Polyrath and Politoed both come from Poliwag, which is pretty cool. Uh, whatever. I, I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny now that I think of it. But I'm going to take this thing out with a uh, Secret Sword. I know he's not physically defensive because he would have brought it in on my uh, Breloom sooner. And he's going to go into his uh, Politoed here, and I'm easily just going to take that out with a Secret Sword. And that's going to be good game, Cool T. It was really close, um, and I appreciate you actually battling me. Um, I am kind of a fan of yours, so it was pretty awesome to battle you. Sorry, uh, being kind of nerdy. But, yeah, please, you guys, check him out. The link will be in the description. And also, if you click his team, it will take you directly to his uh, page where you can check out his videos and subscribe to him. Click the Kelio to see my last video, the Cabalion to see my next one when I upload it. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Add me on Skype. Follow me on Instagram if you want. Puddles A1 throughout. All that. Hope you guys had a nice day. Peace, love, and later, Gators.